Hey there, in today's video, we're going to talk all about ConvertKit. I'm going to show you how to create an email funnel in ConvertKit in less than 15 minutes. So if you've been looking to learn this email marketing platform, you're in the right place. Without further ado, let's get into okay, it. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to learn all about ConvertKit in the next 10 minutes. Before I take you into the funnel that we're going to be building with ConvertKit, I want to show you the basic settings that you want to set up in your ConvertKit account. So when you go into settings, you want to go into email because you want to make sure your email is actually going to go out, right? So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure uh, the status is confirmed or complete. It's not pending because if it's pending, you will not be able to send out emails. So if you haven't received a confirmation in your email, so this is the email that you receive the confirmation at. If you haven't, you can click on resend confirmation to make sure you are confirming this email address. The second thing is you want to make sure you have your mailing address right here. So like it's mentioned here, anti-spam laws require you to add a physical address. So if you don't have a PO box, you will be adding your home address right here. And then for GDPR settings, you can choose uh, based on where you're at in the world. You can choose if you want to show your audience GDPR settings or not. And once all of this is set, you can click on save changes. So that's the basic settings. Now let's get into the funnel that we're going to be creating. So funnel is nothing but a bunch of pages and a bunch of emails. So we are going to build out each of these parts first, and then we are going to combine all of this using automation. So the first two things are going to be built out using the landing page feature in ConvertKit. And then these are going to be a part of sequence. So that's under send sequences. And then we'll connect this uh, landing page to the sequence using automate. And then I'll also show you the different things you could do with automation. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and build out our landing page. So this is where uh, your audience can sign up to get a free guide, free ebook, a free workbook, whatever it is you're creating. Uh, from you. So I'm going to go down here and click on create new. And you can choose whether you want to create a landing page or a form. A form is something you can embed on your website. I'm going to use a landing page. I'm going to assume that I don't have a website right now. So I'm just going to choose a landing page to get started with. There are tons of templates that you can use. So you don't need to start designing from scratch. And this definitely saves time. Uh, so I want to use a basic page, so I'm just going to use this one. And you can make all the changes you want here. So you can change this image, click here, just click on replace, change the image. And for the text, I'm just going to say tech career guide. And then you can edit the text here. So edit text, I'll just write that for now and then get the guide and then they can add their email address i'm just gonna call this get it now and you can change the color here um, you can change the font weight font size all of those things same with other things you can change the font color and um, size and here you can change the label all of those things I'm just going to add a text here, get the free guide to learn, whatever. I'm not putting too much here, but under settings, you can choose what happens when they sign up. So I also want to create a thank you page. So I'm going to uh, just redirect to an external page. I have not created a thank you page yet. So for now, I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to save this. Um, and then you can also preview here. And then for the thank you page, I'm actually going to add page. So when you click on add page, it says thank you. So now you can add an image here. You can change the text here. And it just says thank you for signing up. I'm going to save this. So when you go in settings now, 
when a visitor subscribes redirect them to the thank you page that's it save and publish so now your page is published this is the url you can copy this and when you go to this page this is where um, you know people can sign up you can also if you have a domain you can sell you can uh, use that domain here of course you'll have to connect it but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use this convert kit domain and i'm going to just change this to tech career guide and click on add so now uh, this is the page where people will be able to sign up so this is my landing page now i'm just going to hit save and under again settings if you want some advanced settings you can so here under incentive, we're actually not going to send them an incentive email. We're just going to auto confirm new subscribers uh, because I don't want a double opt in. So and especially if you're in the US, you don't necessarily need a double opt in. So I'm just going to save this and I'm going to send them the guide as part of my sequence itself. So I'm going to publish this. This is already published and saved. Um, let's go under send now and create our sequence. So I'm going to create a new sequence and I'm just going to go ahead with text only for now. Again, if you have the time, you can spend time designing your emails, but again, it's not necessary if all you want to do is get started. So the first email is actually the guide so here is your guide is going to be the subject line and this one should go immediately after they're they're signed in so this one will go immediately and then here is where you will uh, just give them the guide so they signed up for the uh, tech career guide and this is where i'm going to deliver it to them hey there here is your guide and then what I would do is I would just um, add a link to Google Drive or uh, Dropbox and that's where I would store the uh, store the guide and share it with them. This is the easiest way I found to share, um, you know, ebooks, guides, workbooks with my audience. So that's what I'll do here. And again, you can write more stuff, welcome or whatever but that's the first email i'm going to hit publish what topic i'm um, just going to say courses for now submit and again uh, if you haven't confirmed your email you won't be able to send emails so make sure you do that so i'm going to publish this So I'm not going to be able to publish this uh, till I confirm my email. I've been having some issues with my email provider, so I haven't confirmed it yet. But this is the first email and then you can add more emails here. So this is going to be welcome email one. Again, this is not going to be subject line. Uh, maybe you can write uh, something like your tech career is closer than you think. And then you want to make sure you're like introducing yourself, your business, um, you know, you're like, if you have any, you know, low cost digital products, you could sell those as well here. So you will create this email. So I'm just going to write here, welcome email one, delete all this text. And that's it. When you're done with this email, you want to send this email one day after the previous email so i'm gonna leave this as is and then again once uh, the email is ready you can hit publish again uh it won't let me publish but you get the point and then this is welcome email to again you can you know you you can write the subject line and create the email uh to tell a story, connect with your audience, ask them questions. You can also ask them to respond to your emails. Um, so I'm just saying welcome to again, you want to publish publish this one day after the last email. And then the third email again, same thing. Um, this will be 
welcome three you can do this after one day or after two days of the previous email depending on how long your emails are and what you're selling in your emails so now we have four emails here the first one is delivering the guide and then the rest of the three emails so my sequence is ready um can't publish it yet but this is the email sequence now once your sequence is ready i'm just going to call this uh, tech career sequence now the last part is connecting these two things so when someone signs up on the landing page you just created you want to enter them into the sequence so we are going to go under automate and click on visual automations and we are going to create a new automation here now this is where you can do a bunch of things with the automation. I'm just gonna choose start from scratch. So the first thing we are gonna do is when, let me rename this uh, so I know what I'm doing, tech career guide. Okay, so now the first step is when someone joins a form, so a form or a landing page. So when they join this form, I've not renamed the form, but I think it's this one when someone uh, signs up on this form i want to add an event so when they sign up i want to add them i want to take a, an action so i want them to join this email sequence so now this is a sequence we created which is the tech career sequence so i want to add this action so now whenever someone signs up here they're going to be added to this sequence and that's it you can go live with this automation and you can turn it on. So it says uh, you've published your first automation. That's it. So now you have your landing page. Someone signs up. They're going to be entered into the sequence and they're going to automatically receive all of those emails. You could do some other things with the automation. You could um, add another action if you wanted to add a tag. So let's say I want to add a tag that says uh, signed up for tech career guide so now in the future whenever i want to send out an email to people who are interested in a tech career i could just use this tag to send out the information to them so that's it so we created our landing page we created our sequence and we created an automation to set all of this up the last thing i want to show you is how you can send broadcast emails so those are the one-off emails or newsletter emails that you send out every week so all you have to do is go into broadcast and again choose a template or start from scratch you will create your email right here so this is going to be the same way you created emails in the sequence you could uh, write your subject line here so i'm just going to call this newsletter subject line you're going to create your email here so create email write the content you can also preview your email and then click on continue and then here is where you would choose who you want to send your email to so you can either send it to all subscribers or you can send it to uh subscribers with a particular uh within a particular country or distance or they are subscribed to this particular form which is like our tech career guide form or you could send them to uh, people who have a particular tag so we just created this tag for people who signed up for the tech career guide so you could send out this email to only those folks who signed up on this landing page or you could just send out to all your subscribers so i'm just going to remove that and it, it just says all subscribers if you wanted to add a preview text you could do that you could add an internal note here and then once it's ready you can just hit continue Right now I have zero subscribers, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to continue that. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think so, but here is where you can choose if you wanna send this email now or you wanna schedule it for the future. You could do that as well. Uh, so again, I can't send this broadcast because I don't have a single subscriber, but again, 
Uh, this is the last step in setting this up. Once you hit continue, your email will be scheduled to send out to the folks you've selected. So that's all about ConvertKit. Again, I've showed you the main things or features in ConvertKit to help you get started. If you have any questions, don't forget to post them in the comments below. And for more such videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.